Well, if we tomorrow found something older than the Codex Sinaiticus, yeah, yes, that pulled into question the existing verses that are in even the NIV, yeah, we could say that we could end up with a Bible. You could be following false verses or stories that don't actually exist in the Bible today. What we find from textual criticism is that textual criticism mis disproves the Quran. Oh, because Bob. the Quran I told says... You, for the argument's sake, second. we're atheists, but you're trying hold to go on. to the Quran. Yes, I, yes, you're you're, I am talking to you like an atheist, but no, you're, you're, you're an atheist you're holding the... uh, an Islamic channel, so I'm oh, speaking to your viewers. Bob, 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 check this, Bob. You know as well as me that that is a bit of an underhanded little uppercut. Now, if we get Hashim over here or Mansur over here, they'll be able to answer that in two seconds. Fact, they have done then before, why didn't they but you don't when accept Hatun gave them the chance. They have... Hatun! Hatun gave them the chance. Do you know they've stopped debating Hatun? Hatun demolished Mansur. Now, Go and look at That's the debate embarrassing. On You're embarrassing Go yourself now. The... Alright, let's go over here for a bit, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you, are you entering into debate now? Okay, you get filmed as well. Okay, yes, yes. Let's go over here. Okay. Bob, explain to me, you know the actual, the history of the Bible itself, yeah? Interesting question. I want to ask that, you know the authenticity of the actual Bible itself? Why is there a difference between the New Testament and the Old Testament? It's a serious question because I'm interested to see what you'll say. Because no one's asked you that question, I don't think. Have they asked you that Are we question? talking about theologically? No, we're talking about historically looking at the documents. For example, in the in the British is a British Library, isn't it? Where the yeah. Codex Sinaiticus. Yeah. Is it true, as a Christian, I'm asking you as a Christian, is it true that there's differences in the Old Testament and the New Testament? Genuine question. Well, when you say between the Old Testament and the New Testament, what, Versus, what specifically uh, are you Well, reversing? what I heard was... Are you talk, go on. Let me, say, let me tell you what the claim is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's not my claim, yeah, I, yeah. I'm asking you information yeah. on it. That there's verses that are in the Old... Uh, sorry, sorry, not Old Testament, New Testament. In the KJV and the NIV. Yeah? Are we talking about quotations of the Old Testament in the New Testament? We're talking about verses that are in the KJV, King James version, version that are not in the NIV. Is this you understand those? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah, about yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. What's, yeah. And and that exist in the Codex Sinaiticus. In, in exist in the Codex Sinaiticus. Yeah, you know the Codex Sinaiticus. So you, what are you talking oh, sorry. about? Are you talking about the Common Johannes? They don't exist in the Codex Sinaiticus. They, they, they I rephrase that. Sorry, my mistake. Are we talking about the Codex? Are we talking about the Common Johannes? No. We're talking about the Codex Sinaiticus. Can we, There's in can the British we Library. It, can you give an, ex <laughs> an example to discuss? Because uh, the only one that of I course, of course. For example, you know the, the story of the adulteress. Yes. So that's that exists in K KJV, correct? Yeah. But it's not. It doesn't exist in the NIV. That's correct. Is that the reason it doesn't exist in the NIV? Is that because it doesn't exist in the Codex Sinaiticus? Right. So the Codex is now. Just, I, I understand just your clarify. question. Now. I understand. That's fine. Your that's fine. Let me just clarify for myself. Yep. The Codex Sinaiticus itself. Do you believe it to be the oldest, uh, I mean, I mean, just complete a New Testament text that we have? Okay, today. so th there's yeah, multiple questions there. Oh, sorry, sorry. Actually, it's just one question. I'll simplify it, yeah, just to not complicate things. Do you believe the KJV and the NIV, there's a difference in there or not? Right, okay, so that will be the question that I address. Firstly, I'd like to say to everyone on who watches on SC Dawa, um, the, 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 the question implies many things that are not necessarily true of the Christian faith. Um, the, the premise of the question is sound in that the NIV and the KGV do have different verses. So, so one example of that would be in uh, John chapter 7 verse 53 to, to John chapter 8 verse 11. You, you find that in the KGV but you don't find it in the NIV. Uh, another example of this would be what's known as the Comma Johannan 
which is in John 5, uh, 7. These are textual variants that, in terms of the, the New Testament manuscript, don't appear in our earliest manuscripts. The, KG, the KGV, the KJV, the KJV, the KJV, the KJV, um, um, was using the text that the church had at the time, which was dated to the 10th century. Uh, and it was it was a translation based upon uh, a guy called Erasmus, his third critical edition of the New Testament, which was translated into English and contained passages, some passages that were actually uh, put into the text in the 15th century, like the coming of Hanan in John 5, 7. Now, as a Muslim, when you hear that, what you hear is, ah, well, the Bible's been corrupted and therefore it's not trustworthy. That's what you hear, because that's what you've been told to hear inside the mosque. Oh, really? No, no, no let, let, wait, let me just clarify that okay. and carry on. To be fair, uh, that's, not, that's not true, is it? I haven't been told that in a mosque or anything. I heard about that, I read it online. So yeah. I, qu I came to you fairly yeah, yeah. and I questioned you. Okay. And you're answering so, it and that's no problem, so that's not, but, but, that's but not many, fair. But many, yeah, many, I, 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 am, I have heard it in mosques oh, okay. oh, oh. that I have attended. You've heard it in mosques? I've heard it in mosques that I have attended as a visitor where that kind of argument and logic is being put forward now there's a couple of points to respond to that that I would have to say firstly we Christians don't look at our Bible like you look at the Quran you look at the Quran like it's Nazil it's literally ad verbatim the word of Allah it goes from Allah it goes to the angel Gabriel it goes to Muhammad and then it goes to the scribe and there's no human influence that's right now the fact of the matter is that there is evidence of human influence in the text of the Quran we'll do that but later. that's not the topic yeah, 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 yeah. the Christians on, the, the Christians look at the Bible differently we do not believe that the Bible is the ad verbatim word of God that is not our belief we when, when I invite you to the Christian faith yeah. I'm inviting you to believe in something radically different from what you already believe I'm inviting you to believe that human beings wrote in their own words inspired by the Holy Spirit what God was doing in history what God values what is true about God and about the way that we should live but it was human men writing in their words there's no promise of divine protection now, the, the, the reason why I trust the New Testament is because these two examples that we've given in John 8, uh, the coming of Hanan in, in the first epistle of John, what, do, what do, do they actually evidence? They don't evidence that the entirety of the New Testament manuscript is corrupt. It actually doesn't evidence that. It doesn't evidence that, it doesn't prove that. Because what happened is what scholars call the tenacity of the text. The New Testament was written by many people in many different places at the same time. There was no systematic control. And what we found when that occurs is that there are many differences between those manuscripts, but the differences themselves are as varied as the manuscripts. And so it's very easy to identify where the text is corrupted. Very easy. So much so that we Christians honestly, openly, and without any embarrassment, show these texts to the world. That's why you know about it. So, so, there is, so what you're saying is, okay, that's fair play, that's actually um, that's a fair answer, yeah? So there is a difference. What, included in that question, if you don't mind, if yeah. you don't mind, Bob, yeah? Is that, this is the main thing that I come to, right? So now, if there is differences, you're fine to say, you know, your, your claim is that it's not serious enough to change the main message of the Bible, is that, is that? What you're implying? The, 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 in, in terms of in terms of Bart Ehrman, yeah. who's one of the leading critical scholars on the New Testament, he's not a, a, as you well know, he's not a friend of Christians. He's an apostate. He's made his career out of um, attacking uh, the, 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 the the fundamentalist position uh, held by some Christians. So, in terms of Bart Ehrman, Bart Ehrman himself states that no essential Christian doctrine is affected by any textual variant. That's the position of Bart Ehrman. It's also the position of uh, Dan, um, uh, Daniel Wallace, who's a, 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 a doctorate of the equivalent to Bart Ehrman. So it's that, also yeah, the ahead. position of Bruce Metzger. Yeah, yeah. So the position of scholarship yeah. is yes, there are manuscript problems, but no, they don't affect essential Christian So there's verses doctrine. missing and I think uh, stories and there's all books missing, correct, at times. But the fact is... Hey, when you say all books, what do you mean? No, what I mean is uh, there's, the New Testament is made of smaller books, is this correct? Yes. Now, are there books that exist in the Codex Sinaiticus that don't exist in the New Testament? Oh, sorry, in the NIV. Um, 
in, in, in the Codex Sinaiticus, the canon had not been formalized by the church. Okay. And so there are books included in Codex Sinaiticus that the church, when it formalized the canon, didn't include. So there are, okay. But no. that's not a case, that's not, doesn't make the argument that you're trying to make. I'm not, uh, be fair on this, Bob, I'm not trying to make an argument, I'm asking you a question. Yeah, yeah watch yeah. this. Do you know what comes in my mind? Like this, let's watch. Yeah. So, for example, let's say those verses are missing or those books are missing from the existing NIV, the New Testament, yeah? the New yeah. Testament of today. Yeah. What if now that's due to the Codex Sinaiticus being found and having certain books not existing there? Is that correct? Yeah. I do apologise. State your question again. I am sorry. I was. That's fair. I'm that's trying fine. to find yeah, yeah, something. Okay. You were looking in there. Look. Yeah, go on. So, for example, the existing New Testament has had verses and books removed from it today because the Codex Sinaiticus has been found as the oldest existing, fullest New Testament, and it doesn't have those verses and books in there. Correct? No. The the, the scholarship the scholarship that leads to these the, the scholarship that leads to these kind of manuscript variations doesn't just base itself on the Codex Sinaiticus. It it does it based upon every available text that we can find. That came later, of course. No, no, not just that came later. That actually came earlier. The smaller part. So right? it compares. It compares fragmentary evidence. Fragments, it compares yes. Paul pamphlet. It compares uh, the entirety of of New Testament documents that we have. I understand. It compares the them, smaller parts. That it you identifies had, et cetera, et cetera. the variations and, finds and then and then highlights the variation. Now hold on one second. Go on, go on, go on. The fact of the matter is that the vast majority of variations in the text scholars have already said don't have any play at all. They're not translatable. They can't even be translated because they're differences in spellings. Okay. Now, if we take the same standard, and this is what the people who are listening to this really need Before to you hear. go there, can I just ask one No, 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 let me... No, 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 no. Let me explain, let me explain why. Let me explain why. Because I was point. asking... Let me finish this point before you ask your next question. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Bob. Thank you. There's a reason because it's attached to the question I'm asking. So let me finish this point and then you can ask your question. Go ahead. So, if we take this standard of textual criticism and we apply it to the manuscript evidence that we have of the Quran, we find the Quran has a similar problem. I don't believe that's the truth, Bob, but, however, Yep. Let me get on to my next question, like okay. I said. By the way, it's not a next question, it's a question to do with the whole question I've asked you. Now, Bob, if we tomorrow found something older than the Codex Sinaiticus, yep. yes, that pulled into question the existing verses that are in even the NIV, yep. we could say that we could end up with a Bible. You could be following false verses or stories that don't actually exist in the Bible today. Is that, do you understand where I'm coming from or not? Do you understand you do, the question? But I, I, I have to say this, that, yeah. that the premise of your question is faulty because we've already found documents that are older than Sinaiticus. No, 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 I meant, sorry. The oldest, I meant that if they're missing, if they're missing, because look, and yeah, Codex and, and Sinaiticus then, is missing then, verses and, then, and, and stories. I'll just finish off. Okay. They're, finish, they're missing verses and stories in the Codex Sinaiticus. Yep. So we updated the Bible of today. Tomorrow, if we find a book that is older than the Codex Sinaiticus, yep. a fuller version of the New Testament, it is possible that we'll find out there's other verses and stories that are also problematic in the existing NIV. That's understandable, well, yes? That's theoretically possible, but you've got to understand that as Christians, we don't base our faith upon what the, the, the Bible says alone. The, the scriptures were born of the church, and the church had a testimony before the New Testament was written. Okay. And that testimony predates the verbal. The, 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 verbal. Yes, it was a verbal testimony. Verbal. Testimony. That was like the, hadith. The, 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 <laughs> I'll throw that in there. But the difference is, but the difference is, the hadith were written 240 years later. Oh, oh, the New oh, Testament stop. was they written were. within the lifetime guys, guys, of the please. apostles. Sorry, sorry, no, hold on one second. Oh, no, no, Bob, can I just address that? It can wasn't I? written. No, no, no. They were written. No, no, written. No, no, written. No, 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 as I said, as you said, verbal. The hadith were in existence verbally, correct? They were compiled 250 years later. Is that what you're saying, Bob? What I'm saying is... But were they there verbally? That's what I just want to clarify No, actually, first. actually... Because no. I, don't want to, I don't want to slip into... Because I came here to ask you a question. Yeah. I don't want to slip into a Quranic Islamic talk. But take yeah. you're talking to an atheist, for example. Yeah. yeah. You love that, don't you, Bob? Now, listen. That's why I'm coming to ask you simple questions about the Bible. Yeah. I'm not asking you to explain to me about that. But verbally, even if you did refer to the hadith, verbally they were in existence. Just like you're saying, Verbally, the church fathers were talking about certain Christian laws or verses or books that are not included in Codex Sinaiticus. So, so your analogy is flawed for multiple reasons. Oh. It, it's flawed because the Hadiths textually don't exist until much later, 200 no, 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 no. years That's later. That's exactly what I said, verbally. The New Testament. Were they in existence? By the way, there were. The A lot New of them Testament, were written down prior the to The New that. Testament. Now you're going New off Testament. on this, Bob. That's not I'm fair. I'm coming back to the New Testament. <laughs> That's not very fair, the is New it? Testament, The New Testament was written within, within 90 AD. That is the consensus of Bart Ehrman, Bruce Metzger, Dan Wallace, 90 AD. 
So the New Testament I'd is for folks. That, Bob, sir. <laughs> yeah, do I'd please. Have to check that. And so should your viewers. The the, the New Testament is far closer to the reality of the time that it describes than the Hadith. When was the and therefore, it's much more reliable. Now, no, I, I wouldn't say that because verbally, like I said, the Hadith were in existence. I won't let you get yeah. away with that one, Bob. I just However, wanna, what I will ask. I just want to illustrate a point. I want to illustrate. Okay. Afterwards, can you let me know when the Codex Sinaiticus was actually found? Uh, so, oh, sorry, when it was actually written down. You so, know. so I, I just want to illustrate a point. If I produce to you a cup of water, it is 100% water. If I drop into that water something that would be the equivalent of 1 or 2% dilute uh, uh, orange juice, the fact of the matter is, to all taste, flavour, to all conditions, the orange juice, the, the water is water, it's uh, not orange juice. Hold on, would it become misty? It would become misty. Yes. No, no, we're, we're being serious yes, here, guys. Absolutely. I'll just the public. No, you're well. absolutely right. It would become misty. However, would the taste change? Oh, no, just, oh, just no, one second. Just last question. Yes, would the taste yes, change? Yes, the taste would change. However, <laughs> however, the fact of the matter is, to every chemical analysis, that would be majority H2O. Majority, but yes. still, it would have a mixture of orange juice, exactly. yes or no? So my analogy stands. No, now, that, in terms of the New Testament... I don't agree with that. Let it me wouldn't finish. be pure water. Let me finish. I never said it was problems. pure water. I know, but it would have differences. My analogy shows that it's not pure water. No, no, you said it's still water. Let's, but let's just... Let's just get on to this. Wait, wait, now, before we move on, Bob, you said it would still be water, correct? I, I said it would be majority water. No, first you said it would still be water. Then allow me to correct myself if Go I ahead. spoke. Go ahead. It's majority water. Okay, to every no, chemical problem. analysis, it is yeah. still it would have a mixture. majority it would have water. A mixture. It would have a mixture, but it would still be majority water. Now, so it wouldn't be Evian. Hold, hold on one second. Hold on one second. What we find from textual criticism is that textual criticism mis disproves the Quran. Oh, because Bob. the Quran I told says... You, for the argument's on sake, we're atheists, but you're trying hold to go on. to the Quran. Yes, I, yes. You're you're I am talking to, to you like an atheist, but no, you're, you're, you're an atheist you're holding the... uh, an Islamic channel, so I'm oh, speaking to your viewers. Bob, that's not very fair. Why don't you want like me to I talk about you, the Quran? Because, no, 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 I don't have a problem with you talking about so the Quran. Let me talk but about what it. we were talking about is the let Bible. And what you do is, Bob, sometimes... No, it's related to the topic. No, 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 no. I am saying... I haven't even got a clear answer. I haven't got a clear answer. Let's be clear. Let me... Okay, finish up my answer Let me finish my point. No, no. You're, you're asking Go questions, ahead. I'm answering, so let me... Go ahead. Go Thank ahead, you. Go so, ahead. textual criticism disproves the Quran. Oh, the textual criticism that this, you're see? talking about nullifies the testimony of the not, Quran. Bob. It does because not, the and Quran you've been told this many times, Bob. that no one can change the That's word correct, of Allah. Bob. Yes, and was the Injil the are word of going, Allah? Are we going off... Answer Bob, the question. Bob, are we going was off... Injil when the word of when, Allah? Okay, watch this. When he was talking about the word of Allah, we're talking about the Quran at that point. No, no, no. Bob. We've explained this many times now, Bob. What it is, is I'm not easy to drag into a totally separate conversation. Do you understand? That's what yeah. cameramen do. They stand there, they observe. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. Yeah. I asked you a simple question. And I'm answering it. And you haven't finished. No. The implication. What happens? No, 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 Bob. Then we'll end the conversation, Bob. Don't be like this. Go on. Because it's very simple. If we're having a conversation, I ask you a simple question. You haven't answered it. And then what happens usually, and as, a, as with Hashim and many others, we start to float off in a different direction. Now, that's what I don't like, Bob. So, so what's your if question? That's, if that's what's what's your question? Good, I already asked you it. And what you have done, is you've we've, answered we've, it. We've no, no, answered I think it. Yeah, I believe you answered it. And what it was, just yeah. to clarify, it, because I'm saying but the Let and me what clarify I'm saying it. Is, Hold on a second, Bob. Let's on, clarify it. Uh, clarify it with a question. The fact sorry. was sorry. that if. That's all right, go on. Finish it. I can't hear you. I'm filming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm filming. Listen. So the fact. <laughs> your wife called, you know? Wait, Listen. So I the fact of the matter is, if there was text found older than the Codex Sinaiticus. Which there are. Which, no, no, no. no. Fuller Wait, text. I'm talking about older. Yeah, theoretically. Hypothetically. We're doing a, we're doing a minor We're talking about okay. hypothetically. Hypothetically. If yep, we found yep, yep. a book yep. older that, than the I Codex Sinaiticus. What's the question? That's fine. No, let me clarify for the subject. Yep. Uh, if there was a that book goes. found older than the Codex Sinaiticus, then today we could even disprove the NIV. There could be serious problems with the books and the trust in the verses your, of the your, NIV. Your is this question, correct or not? Your question is faulty at many, many uh, levels. This is what you said earlier on, Bob. That's what it I'm is. confused. It's faulty because, it's faulty because you're assuming that the NIV is some kind of authority text. Your, your question is faulty because you're assuming that my faith has to work like your faith. No, no, the no, fact no, that there are textual variants in Quranic manuscripts is no, a problem no, no. for Bob, Islam. See that textual variants in the okay, Bible... Bob, Bob, textual Bob, variants you're not in the Bible. Because it's textual simple. variants in the Bible yeah. are only a problem for us if they affect essential doctrine, which they so, do not. That's what I'm saying. That tomorrow, if a book is found older than the Codex Sinaiticus and there's textual variances that make serious are we issues talking, with the. Are, are we talking second, about a new book? Let me finish. Another book? That, no, no, no. We're talking about older manuscript. An older manuscript. Older than Codex Sinaiticus. Yes, which that we already have. the core, yeah. a, a, a fuller one. 
that affects the core of Christianity. Would you then admit that that's a danger? If is that a danger? Theoretically, to, 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 to honour the, 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 the thought experiment, because I often ask people to do thought experiments, if we found an ancient manuscript that, that theologically contradicted what Christians believe today, that would certainly pose some difficult questions. However, the assumption is that such a text exists. Of course. We haven't found such that's a text. Fair, fair. We don't know where the, uh, any such theoretical text that's exists. Fair. But the risk exists. That's all I was asking you. Well, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to pull the fast one. Just, uh, I'm just uh, saying too clearly. The, the, the thing is, we Christians are constantly looking for older texts. I, I can find people who would say otherwise. However, however, they would be ignorant remember, of the faith. That's fine. Listen, my point is this, and I'll finish it. That if an older manuscript was found, it would cause a serious issue, especially if it had some core doctrines that were changed. Is that a fact? That, that, if, if that happened as you describe, you if, you ha if that happened as you describe, then yes, it would. However, however, what we find is that as we found older manuscripts, they have confirmed what we believe rather than disproven what we believe. And furthermore, when we find ancient manuscripts of the Quran, this contradicts the doctrine of Nazil. Now, I would now, dare Bob. you, now, Bob. Dawa, now, Bob. to broadcast now, Bob. this without uh, editing or without change. No, editing I'll, be checking. But Bob, I'll be checking. Check this, Bob. You know as well as me that that is a bit of an underhanded little uppercut. Now, if we get Hashim over here or Mansour over here, they'll be able to answer that in two seconds. Fact, they have done then before, why didn't they but you don't that when accept Hatun gave it. That's them the, the chance. They have. Hatun! Hatun gave Hatun. them the chance. Do you know they've stopped Hatun. debating Hatun? Hatun, Hatun demolished Mansour. You know they've stopped Hatun Hatun demolished Mansour. Now, that's embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself now. Now you're embarrassing yourself. Listen to that. There's people laughing yeah, yeah, literally are, at that they comment. They and, Bob, and they're all part of the Islamic Dawah team. Hilarious. So there is no Islamic Dawah team, Bob. Okay. But take care. It's take been care a pleasure. Of Have take a care. nice day. Bye-bye. See you there, JC. So what I would say to you guys, like, if you're going to create a standard, you have to be consistent to the standard that you create. If you're going to say something like, that the textual variants of New Testament manuscripts mean that we must reject the Christian faith, then that means that what you're saying is that the Quran is wrong when Muhammad was instructed to go to the people of the book and to tell them to judge by what is in their book. If Muhammad is instructed to go and tell the people of the book to judge by what is in their book, Allah is assuming that the book is reliable. So who is right, Allah or the Muslims? Now, furthermore, it says in the Quran clearly no one can change the word of Allah. Now, if no one can change the word of Allah and the Injil was the word of Allah, and the Torah was the word of Allah, then that means no one can change the Injil or the Torah. So textual criticism, whilst not being a threat to the Christian faith, is actually a debunking of the Quranic position. And furthermore, textual variants of the Quran, like the pamphlets that's found in Sana, like the comparison of the Topkani and the Samarkand to the 1924 version of the Hafs Quran we have today, they have textual variants, so be consistent. Your own texts have problems. Your own texts have problems. And it is the only one he's threatened by that is the group that believes that a changed book can't be the word of God. And it's Muslims, not Christians, who believe that. So this problem is a Muslim problem, not a Christian problem. Our faith is based upon the teaching of the church and its doctrines. Those doctrines are found in their entirety in the New Testament. Textual variations don't challenge that. The ones that are challenged by textual variants are Muslims because of the textual variants in the Quran. If you don't believe me, get your 1924 Hafs version of the Quran and go and compare it to the Samarkand. Go and compare it to the Topkani. Go and compare it to the Pamphlicites found in Sana and you will see textual variants. If none can change the word of Allah, why are the words of Allah different in the different Qurans?